Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The narcissist is even more dangerous than you realize. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, just head to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Narcissists are very dangerous. They are more dangerous than you realize. They cannot regulate their own emotions. Which is why when you're involved with a narcissist, conflicts seem to last longer than is usual or necessary. Because they have a void that can never be filled. So they will continuously draw out your emotions. But no matter what they do, or no matter how much you react to them, it will never be enough because they can't be satisfied. You can never pour enough into their cup to where they're then able to pour into you. And it's because their cup has a leak at the bottom. So no matter how much you pour into them, it will leak out and they will be empty again, which will drain the life out of you. Because it's extremely stressful, it wears you out. You invest so much into this person, and yet they don't have the emotional capacity to be able to reciprocate anything back to you. So you're driven to emotional exhaustion, because it's like your world is consumed by them. And after you've spent a certain amount of time around them, it may look like you've seen a ghost. You may appear very scared or shocked because they're constantly inducing fear and anxiety in you as a means of controlling you. They will make you feel unimportant and small. They will ignore you. They will isolate you. And they will discredit you to the point where you can't even function. They are empty, so they can drain you in an instant. Because no matter how abundant your energy and emotions may be, it will never be enough to sustain them. It may be enough to sustain you and make you feel happy and healthy, but it will barely have any effect on them. Which is why they have to suck the life out of you until you can't think clearly or calmly, or think rationally about what's in your best interest. But then when you remove yourself and you enter an isolated space, you can instantly feel yourself healing. You can sense that your energy is replenishing. While when you're around the narcissist, it just sucks your energy dry but they can trick you into believing that they have power or energy. And they will often do this by mirroring you. Because by reflecting you back to you, it then gives you space to replenish yourself. But what you really need to do is to spend some time by yourself where you're able to breathe. You have to drink plenty of water. You have to eat healthy food and cut toxic people out of your life because it is very dangerous to your body, mind and soul. It does not matter how strong and resilient you are because narcissists are empty. So no matter how much energy you have, they will take it all and it will barely have any effect on them. And just for someone to witness your pain it's extremely traumatic for anyone to go through. So it affects other people as well. Even those who are not around the narcissist, which is why you just have to get rid of them. 
Because how you feel after they've drained all of your energy and emotion is exactly how they feel every day. They feel better about themselves when they unload their traumatic experiences onto you by seeking your validation, attention or sympathy. Even though it actually does them more harm than good because it's one-sided. But initially it makes them feel better because it makes them feel like they're not alone. So they unleash it out onto you because they can't deal with it on their own. And it is very damaging. It can destroy a person. Which is why if you are dealing with a narcissist, you need to make an exit plan. They may not be physically strong, but they can destroy you mentally. Which is something that you can't prevent, regardless of how strong or resilient you are. It will suck the life out of you and there won't be anything you can do about it. It doesn't matter who you are. They're so broken inside that if they bond with you over their traumas, you won't be yourself anymore. Even if you're just in contact with someone who's being abused by a narcissist, it will affect you, especially if you are witnessing the abuse because it's contagious. It spreads like wildfire. Narcissists have so much distress and hopelessness inside of them. They cause so much drama and chaos and they're dumping it onto you. But there is nothing you can do to help them because they don't want to hear the truth. So they can't change. They can only dump their trauma onto you because it's the only way they can feel better by trauma bonding you to them so that you feel exactly what they feel inside. Which is why you need to be very selective with who you spend time with. Narcissists will trauma bond you to them, but there's nothing you can do to help them or stop them. The only thing you can do is go to contact because otherwise they will make sure that they are always on your mind because they feel hopeless and helpless inside. So they cannot pair bond with you. They cannot form a close relationship, whether it be through courtship or sexual activity. They bond through trauma bonding, through abusing you until you form an emotional bond and attach to them so that you feel a deep emotional attachment to someone who is causing you harm because they can't be alone. So they have to attach themselves to you. They have to always be on your mind. It is very dangerous for you because they have so much unresolved trauma and they are unable to cope with it, which is why it's best for you to get rid of them because then you will have peace in your life. You will be in your own energy and you will feel good, but you won't feel good as long as they are a part of your life. It will cause you to feel anxious and uneasy. It will upset and disturb you because there's just so much confusion and disorder. It disconnects you from yourself so that all of your attention, energy and focus is directed to them until you are deprived of the power of sensation. It deprives you of feeling and responsiveness until you don't feel anything anymore, other than what they need you to experience or be aware of, which is why you just have to cut the cord. You have to sever ties. You have to break the attachment and to leave them behind because you need to live your own life. You need to be on your own mission. You can't just keep living for someone else because that's not how life is meant to be lived. But when you're around them, you become comfortable with their treatment of you. It's only when you leave and you build up your energy that you're then able to sense them very easily. And when they're around you, it will cause you to feel very confused to where you're no longer in possession of all of your mental faculties and you're left unable to think clearly or act intelligently. 
you feel so much anxiety and there's a lot of pressure. You can't breathe properly because it feels off. You feel like something is wrong. You feel like there is something going on with them because they are giving you a feeling that things aren't normal, which causes you to feel nervous and on edge because they're trying to trap you. They're trying to make you their next victim, which is why it's dangerous to have any contact with narcissists. But they love contact because they don't want you to forget about them. They want to be in your head. They want to overwhelm and suffocate you. So they will do anything just to make you think about them. They won't just refrain from bothering or interfering with you. They will do whatever it takes to keep you stuck. And they will shame you for even trying to talk about it because they want you to think that you're the problem. They don't want you to question anything, which is why it's very dangerous to attach to narcissists. It's fine to attach to healthy people because that will make you feel good. But narcissists are going around making so many people attached to them. They're creating all of these soul ties. They're trapping multiple people at one time because they're dead inside. So they will affect every person that they're involved with. And the longer that you are attached to them, the worse it gets. It never gets better. It will suck more and more energy from you until you can't function normally. And it's just a very miserable experience. It causes you to become unemotional to where you can't feel anything anymore because they've taken you to a dark place. So the only way you can heal is by coming back to yourself, by focusing on improving your health. Because they've depleted you, they've drained you of your energy and emotions. And once you've returned to good health, you should only be around people who are as healthy as yourself. People who do not overly attach to you and drain you. People who have good energy. Instead of someone who is constantly poison dripping you of your energy. Where they may appear to be giving a positive impact on your life. When in fact, they're slowly taken away from you and reducing your ability to think. You don't notice it initially because you may be infatuated with the breadcrumbs of attention they're given to you, but they're actually negatively taken away from you and they're giving you nothing back in return to replenish yourself. So it's draining you. It's destroying you. You're building up someone else at the expense of yourself, which is why you need to cut it off because it's toxic. And by doing that, you will break the trauma bond you will return to happiness again. Because then you won't be involved with someone who is always engaged in anything outside of themselves. Someone who doesn't want to be an active participant in their own life. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.